Good morning, happy Tuesday. So we've talked about buyers, we've talked about sellers, and today we're gonna talk about dun, 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 the agents. Uh, so first thing, we are all not the same. If you have that stigma that we are all used car salesmen trying to take all of your money, please rethink it. Talk to some of your local realtors. Maybe pick out three from different companies that you get referrals from um, and then try them out. Ask them what their business plan is. Ask them what their marketing plan is because it better be changing these days. And then you need to make sure that their goals align with your goals and then you move forward in the same direction to get you to the finish line. Okay, second thing, commissions. No one likes to talk about commissions. I'm going to talk about commissions. So when you buy a home, you do not usually pay real estate commissions. That is usually when you sell the home. Are commissions, are they negotiable? Yes, they are negotiable. But let's break it down into something that I understand. Beer, okay, you got six beers. You got a six pack, right? And 6% commission, makes sense. So in that six pack of beer, three of those beers go to the other agent at the sell, successful sell of your home, which means three of those beers go to the other brokerage. Three of those beers stay with your agent and their brokerage when we sell. Then out of those three beers that I have on our side, we're going to end up getting one beer back to the broker because I hang my license with them and they have bills they have to pay too, right? Okay, second thing. Then we have the second beer, which is marketing and all of those crazy websites to make sure your house gets on Google and all over the internet. We gotta pay those, which means all the fees that we have to pay goes to that second beer and that one's gone. I am left with one beer. Don't take my last beer. Okay, third thing is you need to find a local realtor. I say that not because I don't want people from out of the area in our place. What I'm saying is, is that I am allowed to sell property in San Francisco. Is it a good idea if I sell property in San Francisco? Probably not, but I know the mountains, I know the dirt, and there's questions and there's fire insurance issues and there's easements and there's all this crazy stuff that comes up in our amazing, beautiful rural area that you really need a trusted advisor, not just a realtor, not just someone that's gonna do your transaction, a trusted advisor that is going to walk you through the process and come up with a few of those hurdles that are gonna come your way before they actually happen so you can be prepared. That's all I'm gonna say about that. If you guys want an update on what our market's doing now, because it has changed, I have our area in rural Madera County. I have an updated list. I can email it to you if you want. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.